A while ago I made a video showing you how to change the logon screen on a Vista operating system. Now that Windows 7 has been released, I want to show you a couple of little applications you can use to do the same job and change the logon screen on a Windows 7 operating system. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is this program here. And as you can see, this is the actual application running. Okay, So you can browse the, to the actual location where your pictures or wallpapers are that you want to use. Okay, So if I click on this one, it will actually change that. Now this does look like it's been squashed a little bit, but don't worry about that. When I reboot, it will be fine. You've got the backup here and also restore backup and restore default. So I can go back to the default um, log on screen that was there in the first place. The more back backgrounds is uh, takes you to the website and lets you download more images. I'll show you the website in a sec. But basically, if I want to keep this, I can change background, click OK, and it will ask me to restart, and I can click Yes, and that will then show me the log on screen. OK, I'm going to click No for now. Um, I'm going to restore the default because I don't want that one there. But basically, that's a basic. That's how you work this uh, application. It's free to use. You've got the default up here, which is your resolution size, screen size. You can actually click on one of these, what you want, and it will set it to that. OK. Now the actual site that you can get it from is here I will actually put the link in the description you can actually download the program from one of these download links here okay there's a load of wallpapers on here that you can choose from widescreen or normal and as you can see there's about three pages of them now you can use these or you can use the, any ones that you want to use as long as they're a JPEG format okay so let me uh, shut that off and show you the next one that we got the next one is a, another uh, application I'll uh, quickly fire this up now I do like this application better I must say it looks nicer and uh, I think it's got a nice little touch to it as you can see um, so let this load in this is going to load all the little JPEGs in why it's doing that um, I'm going to show you the actual website so the actual website is this site here where you can download it okay now as you can see this is actually Apple actual application here it's very easy to use it's a freeware program and uh, you can download it at the bottom here if you click on download okay let's have a look at the program in action it's pretty easy to use now say for argument's sake I clicked on any one of these uh, say for instance these, uh, uh, the actual uh, I forgot what that would look like then is an elephant so I can click on that elephant or you can actually click on this uh, background here and it will as you can see load in the backgrounds in it's scanning my PC to load in the background so I can choose my own folder to back uh, choose my own folder to use these photos from okay or I can just use the ones that is finding up the top here okay so I'm, if I wanted to apply this I just need to apply and let that apply that wallpaper to the log on screen okay it's gonna say it needs authorization let's say yes to that okay it's loading up now as you can see just needed me to authorize the actual change and that's it once it's done that wallpaper will be installed and that's the wallpaper for the log on screen that I've got there okay now it's got some uh, settings here you can come into settings no shadow dark shadow light shadow and so on and so on reset default and uh, as you can see it's pretty easy to use okay so one last go I do like the way this program works it's an awesome little program give it a try I'll put the links in the description for you to actually download them from. Okay, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, remember, hit that subscribe button and rate for all my videos. Got any questions or any problems with your computer, head over to the forums, post them on there, and I'll do my best to help you. Also, any requests for videos, you can do the same thing, either post them on the forum or send me a private message. Thanks, guys, for your support. Keep watching those videos. Bye for now.